hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is tolu baker that's baker babe to my old subscribers thank you for sticking with me thank you for making this channel grow and to the new ones you're welcome not too much i'm happy to have you all here on today's vlog i have a very good friend of mine i have someone special on today's vlog and um her name is bukola we are classmates we are on the mba um program together and fortunately enough we got to know we got pregnant almost the same time you can see us we are swimming like <laughs> so i decided to invite her because we are both going through the same things so i decided to chat her up please can you be available to come on my channel to just say one or two things and encourage someone give out value so today's vlog is all about challenges of being pregnant in the united kingdom as an international student and i want her to share her experience i will share my experience as well so bukola welcome please can you just say a little about yourself Hi everyone, this is Bukola. My name is Bukola Akiola. Can you speak up a bit? Sorry. My name is Bukola Akiola. Yeah. Um I got pregnant last year, so it hasn't been easy at all. It's not easy at all. Going to school, um entering the balls at the same time, it's not easy at all. Oh. So okay. just thank God. Well, thank God. It's alright. So um can you tell us, has there been challenges you faced being pregnant with um, school? You know, you are a wife, you are an expectant mom, you are a student. What are the challenges with academics, aside assessments, going to classes, lectures, and all that? What has been... The challenges you face with being pregnant again yeah like it's not easy like i said earlier because i think around around august september october there about i think that was when i was like oh no this this you can't you know, be here <laughs> because the stress of going to school coming back cooking for your husband because you go to work so and the stress of boss again like the journey of well, 15 minutes like you use two hours getting <laughs> home that's <laughs> transportation aspect. yeah tired and all that you yeah. have to clean the house at the same time so it's not easy at all yeah at on all. my own part it's it was a lot of challenge because i think my um, our pregnancy was a bit more easier than mine i was why i said that is because my first trimester i had morning sickness i had loads and loads of stuff like that she was still able to attend classes but as a as a mom as a wife student you just have to be like you have to be ready to yeah. give it everything be ready to give it your whole be ready because the strength. priority of why you are here is the school so just like how my school mother has slang mm -hmm. But then it's a good thing we are graduating with double honors. Yeah, we are graduating as an MBA executive, then baby too. So <laughs> it's a good thing to have a baby. So, but then we are just encouraging you to brace up. It's not an easy face being pregnant as a as a mom with school assessments, essays, assignments. It's not an easy one. Then as regards food cravings too. Were there challenges you faced? Uh, not really. Wow. For not me, really. for me, because me, my husband calls me Jamila. <laughs> I love to eat. And he was one that spoiled me. He's a chef. He cooks good food. So, my first pregnancy, I hate. <laughs> By the time I call my mother in law like this, whenever she sees my call, she knows, ah, everything for my kinikin sefwen. Amala. You know? So, the challenge, I had challenge with food too, because being in the UK, mm -hmm. there were no, the African foods were, were so expensive. You understand? And if you say you should order from London, we are in Sunderland, it, it takes weeks before it gets here. Yeah. 
So food was a challenge for me. Cravings where you want to eat, they were going. <laughs> There, there were times whereby I would try and cook it, but the time in making it, yeah, the craving is just gone and yeah. it's stressful. So what can you say about job to being pregnant and working? Were you able to work? Were yeah. you able to... What was the challenge of job? Uh, I would just encourage people that... Whenever you get pregnant or you are planning to get pregnant, you just, just have to just plan yourself because yes. this UK, they will still kill, ah, don't worry, you will walk. Anytime you walk to you, to 35 weeks, to 30, it's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> when you're up to see, 20 weeks, once yes. they see your belly like this, and they will your stomach stop giving you work. They will stop giving you work. So yes, just, especially if you are agents. Agent, so just, you just have to plan yourself. Yeah. Like, don't tell them immediately like you are pregnant so that was a mistake me we, and yeah. we made we made yeah so from my own aspect i made that mistake yeah. really i got pregnant like I, this. I work in the mental health sector and it's risk you know yeah to deal worse of the strenuous things we, we do there and all that yeah. once i told them they stopped calling me mm -hmm. they stopped allowing exactly. me so i was home basically i couldn't do anything I was just there, no funds was coming in for me. So the advice, candid advice I will give is if you know you are planning to get pregnant, go on the permanent route. Yeah. Just look for a permanent, if it is care or permanent job, you know. So you being pregnant, you can still work up to some certain weeks yeah. in your pregnancy mm -hmm. and you will still get maternity pay you get maternity leave, but if you work with agency or more, they will just discard you. You understand? Yeah. So those, th those were one of the challenges. Those, like that's one of the challenge we faced. Yeah. We were out of job ever since we got to know we were pregnant. So, and you know, it will take a toil on our dependents. Uh -huh. Our husbands has been the one working okay. from the inception <laughs> till now. And it's not easy for somebody to just be working with the cost of living expenses, yeah. cost of everything and all that. So it's just been God that has kept oh. us. So what would you say as regards transportation too? What was it an easy thing? If you want to go shopping, mm -hmm. you want to go to school. How was it? Yeah, like <laughs> it's not easy at all. Like from my house to okay, I live in Washington. From Washington to Sunderland, it's just thirty minutes. But like you use one hour before getting to Sunderland. Wow. So getting to Sunderland again, getting another bus to the market yeah. again, yeah. another thirty minutes. And so, the PT is as <laughs> if the I was coming. You know, I entered the bus. Instead of the bus driver to just slow down for me just to see it, he moved immediately. Wow. All like their own people. Mm -hmm. All like yes, yeah, because I've seen a lot. All like mm -hmm. their own people. So, yeah, we just thank God. We yeah. Just thank God. So, well, I will encourage if you know you have you want to get pregnant, it requires planning. Mm -hmm. You really need to plan if it's visible to get a car. Yeah. Because you just see yourself spending uh, on taxi. Yeah. Spending on taxi. Spending on taxi, and it's a lot. Because they know the same person for this place. They won't even look you. You even have neighbor said neighbor will not even know if you are alive yeah. or you are dead. So they don't send on like Nigeria where they will say, Ah, yeah, baby, yeah, you know. This place they don't send. Just have to plan. So you just have to plan yourself. Plan yourself from your job. Make sure your dependent that your husband has a stable job. Mm -hmm. Before you get pregnant. Yeah. Make sure you have if you know you are the type that has um, crazy food cravings like make sure you have nigerian stock foods at, at home. home make sure you get a car it's my it's not compulsory but it's, it's just things that will ease you yeah. especially if you have a toddler like i have a toddler now and i'm pregnant and i want to go shopping i want to do this taking text taking spending, text yeah, yeah. so those are the things and it's just to make your life easier nobody will help you here no, but they will see you, they will not even look at you sure. twice, you know. So, those are the things. Then, school, just be ready to buckle up. 
give it all it takes. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have carryover, mm -hmm. you know. So those are the challenges of being pregnant mm -hmm. as an international student in the United Kingdom. So we'll be ending on this note. Thank you, Bukola. It's You're nice welcome. having you. And um, we we'll hear the voice of the baby and we we'll hear the voice of the mother. Amen. So um, until next time, guys, please remember to like, remember to share, remember to subscribe. Put on your post notification button, like the British will say. Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye.